What is up you guys? Welcome back to days. What freaking day is it? 14? Oh my god, I feel like I was just saying day four. Day 14 and 15 of Vlogmas. Holy shit. It is Monday today and I'm really tired but i'm still feeling good i'm excited about having a good productive day i think i'm gonna make a smoothie and maybe like half a bagel to have i might be going to work out in an hour i'm feeling like i'm gonna make it into the class but i'm on the wait list which i'm number one on the wait list and usually i would i get in if i'm like this close but i've been stuck at number one since i went to bed last night and <laughs> nobody else has canceled i might just like show up and see if somebody doesn't know show at 12 30 i think that's like probably what i'll end up doing Hopefully I'll get in and not just like have to drive home. I'm gonna finish editing my podcast and get that up. I have most of it done, but it'll probably take me like another hour to get just like it finished, exported, and the episode published. And then, um, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of work on that before I go and have a little smoothie, have a little bagel. All right guys, I am in my workout fit, my little cute two-piece set. Hopefully I get in. <laughs> it's not that far away. It's like 15 minutes away from my house. So like if I do go and I don't get in, it's okay. Um, but I definitely feel like it's worth trying if somebody like does a no show. The reason the classes are more hard to get into is because they're only like half as filled right now because of COVID. Guys, I got in. Do you see the orange check? I just got in like five minutes ago. I'm on my way. I'm so excited that I didn't cancel. Hello, you guys. I'm home now. I'm about to make some avocado toast so excited my avocados are finally ripe i think i bought them on like thursday and it's monday and they're like finally ripe so i finished my workout it was really good and the music was so good today it was like keeping me going like toxic by britney spears was blaring when i was on the rowing machine dirty little secret like i was going off some throwback box were played today and that's really what keeps me going during my hard ass workouts so really proud of myself feeling amazing i'm gonna have this and i'm going to go up and shower i just put on some sweats really quick because i was so hungry i was like i need to eat before i shower or i'm just gonna like fall over in the shower not actually but i just need food um and then i'm gonna finish some editing the detail on miss avocado toast today stepped out we have flaky sea salt we have red pepper flakes we have my signature honey, obviously the avocado, my Dave's killer bread. Ugh, I really tried today. I did. All right, guys, I'm going to do a miniature mail haul. I got two little packages today, and, well, one of them was a gift, or one thing that I got was a gift for someone that you guys will see later in vlog. Why does this happen? Like, my washing machine only freaks out like this and gets so gets so loud when I turn the camera on. I am not even kidding. Like, if you're a YouTuber, you know that your dog only starts barking when you bring the camera out. And your fucking washing machine and shit only sounds like it's having a fucking... We're gonna do this at a later date. Hi, guys. I'm sitting at my counter in my robe. Just took a shower and I'm about to get ready because I'm gonna go to dinner tonight with Jared. Um, I'm excited about that. We're gonna go to Olive Garden again. Well, he didn't come last time. So last week I went to Olive Garden with Marissa and I told him and he was like, I'm so jealous. Like, I really wanna go to Olive Garden with you soon. So we decided we were gonna go this week. So we're going tonight. But anyway, it is about 6.30 now. And right before my shower, I just finished um, my editing of the vlog that went up today. And I did not expect it to take me so long today. I mean, I think I didn't get started till maybe around 2.30 or maybe even 3 because I was getting up the podcast first. But yeah, I just ended up having a lot of editing to do today because I didn't really do any of it last night or yesterday. Um, well, I did but anyway I know I talk about editing so much in the vlogmas I'm sorry if it's annoying like that I literally just edit the whole days a lot of the days but it some vlogs just end up taking longer especially because they're two days in one now so I literally didn't finish that until like six o'clock 
So there was really, there honestly was just like nothing to vlog this afternoon after my workout and getting home because that's all that I was doing. So anyway, I'm sitting down now because I wanted to give you guys a little mini mail haul of two things that I got in the mail earlier because I never opened them. So we're gonna do that now and then I'm going to do something to my hair, probably do like really simple like 10 minute makeup figure out what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I feel like a little bit of a mess today right now. I just, I don't know, I'm a little bit out of it right now. I'm just a little bit annoyed that it took me the, like, the whole day before dinner to just like only edit. And the vlog's not even up yet. Like it's still exporting and I still have to do the thumbnail. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm complaining right now about like literally nothing. It's not, it's just that I'm annoyed with myself that I like that it took me so long, I guess. Whatever, this is a dumb thing to be <laughs> upset at yourself about is Okay, this is not what I ordered. <laughs> okay, so you know how those like claw hair clips are in trend right now? I was like, I want a cute little like neutral pack of them. So I specifically, okay, wait, this makes literally no sense at all. So I specifically Googled matte because I'll put in a photo of like, they look really cute when they're matte. They're not like shiny like this. I specifically Googled matte claw clips. It literally says on this tag, matte claw pack, but I don't know if I'm being crazy, but these are definitely the opposite of matte. I mean, they're still cute. I really like this one and this one specifically in the pack. I don't know. It's dumb probably to return hair clips, but I'm a little bit confused why they aren't actually matte. Am I being crazy? Like, am I seeing things? I, I don't know. The matte ones are so cute and I like wanted to order from like a small business as opposed to like Amazon. So I ordered from this um, brand called EB and Co. Okay, my only other thing is from Nordstrom and I ordered some gloves. I don't really know why I chose to get them from Nordstrom. I just wanted to get like a nice good pair. So I got some fingerless gloves, which I've never actually had fingerless gloves, but you know, it's just like one of those things because you wanna be able to use your phone. And I, the touchscreen gloves, I don't know. I feel like they're never that cute. Like it's hard to find a cute pair of the touchscreen. It's hard to find a cute pair of the touchscreen gloves. Sorry, this happens every day. <gasps> they're so soft. They're so soft, I'm excited. These are from the brand Halogen and they are actually 100% cashmere and I got them in the color Ivory Cloud. They're really cute. Um, let's try them on. They basically cover everything. They only show like this much. I feel like these are actually gonna keep my hands so warm. <laughs> They're still attached so I can't really put this one on but <laughs> they look so funny with my robe right now. Vogue, cover girl, work it girl. <laughs> okay, these are really soft. I'm excited about these. These are really light colored, so hopefully I can take good care of these and keep them nice. I'm really disappointed about the, the clips. I know it's really stupid, but you guys know I've just been having like three orders in the past week and a half that were not what I ordered and it's a little bit like what is fucking going on but I'm sorry that I'm being negative and complaining about kind of dumb shit I'm honestly really hungry right now but I'm like I feel like I need to save my appetite for Olive Garden but one last thing I just don't understand why they would say it's matte if it's actually not matte that's just like that's the part I don't understand like I don't think they sent me the wrong thing they just named the product something that it actually is not okay I'm sorry this is really this is probably so fucking dumb to complain about I'm gonna be editing this and I'm gonna be like you fucking annoying ass bitch but we're gonna go upstairs and get ready now um I'll try to show you guys a little bit of my getting ready process. So I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog tonight like of our date just because you guys know Jared's more camera shy, but um, I wanna try to work around that while he's like getting used to me filming around him because it literally has only been like a week since I ever started filming around him. But just know that um, I'm not trying to like not film things for you. I'm also just like trying to figure out how to film but not have him on camera yet. Like, it's just kind of something that we're gonna figure out.
Okay guys, tonight I decided to go with straight hair. I haven't straightened my hair in like probably like three weeks. It feels so good. It doesn't even take long. It's like, why don't I just do this every day? It looks so much better. <laughs> but I switched from my fluffy robe into this robe because I was getting hot when I blow dried my hair in the puffy robe. Um, I'm going to do probably like 10 minute makeup and then I'm going to change into my outfit and Jared's on his way right now. So yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm kind of rushing because it's already going to be like 7, probably 45 when we leave. And I feel like Olive Garden probably closes at like 9. So... I kind of need to like hurry my shit up and just do my makeup and shit really quick. So um, I'll either talk to you guys after. If I don't, I'll try to talk to you in the car. <laughs> okay, just keep it kind of steady. And if I like say, you know, my shoes, then you can go a little down. Is it recording already? Yeah, it's okay. recording. Okay, guys, Jared's buying the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, tonight I broke out cowgirl boots. The cow print cowgirl boots. Because I haven't worn these in so long and I know they're not really like wintry but i just thought they were fun i just felt a crazy night we did a red lip we did this red dress that I, I wear this like always during the holidays it's just from forever 21 back in my forever 21 days don't shop there anymore but this and then this is from like urban outfitters but we're off to olive garden baby it's gonna get crazy <laughs> thanks babe. hello you guys it is the next day now i'm having some cereal so excited, I haven't had cereal in a fucking, a fucking long time. It's another snowy day, and I wanted to just catch up with you guys. So, last night I filmed, Jared filmed that little clip of me. He was like, how did I do it? Did I do good? Like, you have to tell me if it was good. I haven't watched it back yet, but... Um, yeah, just kind of trying to, I'm just try, kind of trying to experiment with like maybe him being behind the camera or like if we're doing something together, maybe he can kind of film me more and things like that. So last night was our two month anniversary, which I know that's not like a lot of time, but since we first started dating, um, we have celebrated our one month and our two months as postiversary so that's kind of our when we celebrate our one month it's postiversary and we either make pasta and we cook together or we go get pasta so last night we did olive garden as you guys know it's really good i still have leftovers i brought some breadsticks home i brought some tortellini home mm, the tortellini was fucking good so we did that we came home we made some drinks made some like of ina garten's barefoot contessa um her like great i think they were called grapefruit Palomas, I think that's what they were called. They were pretty good. And then we watched Home Alone and then we watched Love Island until the wee hours of the night. And now it is, I was gonna say Wednesday, but it's only Tuesday, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, it was snowing, I just took Squirtle on a walk and it was so pretty, it was snowing. Now it's kind of just like dark and gloomy out. But I'm gonna go to a little store in town, at least one store, see what I can find, maybe one other store in a little bit here when I'm done with my cereal. I'm gonna go look for a couple, two last gifts that I need for some people. So hopefully today I can get that stuff done. i um, really finishing up on my gifts which is good, but I haven't really shopped locally as much as I've wanted to this year, to be completely honest. I, I did mostly everything online. I think, honestly, everything I bought online. I, I've just become such an online shopper. Like, I mean, I've always been, but this year especially. Um, but I do wanna go to at least one or two local stores around here and see what I can find. I just had my AirPods in. I'm listening to the new Girls Gotta Eat episode. I'm probably gonna finish that while I have my cereal. And then we will, I don't wanna drop these in <laughs> And then we will head out. Okay, I have been so into Evermore by Taylor Swift. I just can't believe she put out two albums in the past like few months. I've only been listening to this for like two or three days, but I might like it more than Folklore. Um, but I'm not sure yet. I can't confirm that for sure, but I'm out. It is snowing. It kind of just looks like it's raining because <laughs> it's melting on my windshield, but it is snowing. I'm going to go to this store called Mixed Greens. We're playing Taylor. The vibes are going. I'm in my super comfy fit. I have one of my new masks on. For some reason, it feels kind of weird. I'm not used to having like the ones that have the nose thing over the top. Mine are always like kind of like just straight across. I don't know why it feels weird. 
but I'm downtown. I just parked. It was fucking hard to find a parking spot. For some reason, they have like all so many street spots just like with no one parked there. And then there's just like a thing over it that says no parking. And like, I feel like it's not usually that hard. So I was confused by that, but I did find a spot. I think I'm good. I'm gonna go to this store called Mixed Green and hopefully I can find some stuff. I'm hoping for a success. I haven't been downtown in so long. It's snowing. There's some lights up. It's not dark yet, but it's gonna look so pretty when all the lights are on and it's dark. All right, guys, I went to two stores. Um, I only ended up finding one thing that I was like, ah, this is like kind of something I was looking for. So I found, I think like half of one of my friend's presents, but I am not done. <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't like super, I just wasn't feeling anything super hard in the first store. Definitely a cute store if you're ever in Boise, Mixed Greens, that's what it's called. But they have like cute gifts and like um, cute little Idaho stuff. All right, I'm pulling into the village, which I haven't been here in so long, but it's actually this really cute like little outdoor mall we have here in Idaho. It reminds me of like our version of the Grove where I used to always go in LA, but there's a ton of stores here. I think I'm gonna pop into Urban Outfitters first. First, I'm gonna park. I love that they have a Carhartt store here. It's like, I think one of the only ones we have. So I think I'm gonna pop in there. It's five o'clock, so it's getting dark. It's been snowing, so I kinda wanna get in get out get back home the bachelorette starts in two hours <laughs> so um yeah i'm feeling like i'm feeling motivated i feel like i'm gonna find everything i need and i'm gonna finish my christmas shopping so let's do it so pretty here you guys i haven't walked around here in so long especially with all the christmas money all right you guys i'm home from my outing i also wanted to give a little shout out if she's watching to Jaden, who's one of my viewers, longtime viewers, that works at Home Goods, and I just met her for the first time today. She was my cashier, and she was so sweet. It just made my whole night. That's the last place I went to get a couple things. I think I will show you guys like the gifts I got and just be like, hey, if you're one of my friends that I got this stuff for, <laughs> like turn it off. Um, so I'm heating up, you can probably tell my microwave and my air fryer are going. I'm heating up my Olive Garden leftovers from last night. I'm so excited. I've eaten like, a bowl of cereal today like I'm starved <laughs> I ate that and then I went out for like three hours and I did finish my shopping so I'm so excited now I just have a lot of stuff to wrap but that part will be fun honestly me and Jared had a lot of leftovers we split this tortellini last night and we still had this much left over because we also got salad and breadsticks of course this is so good this is like one of my favorite things I've ever found at Olive Garden it was just called I can't remember some sort of like a tortellini with chicken it's one of their like newer pastas and then I put one of the breadsticks in the air fryer bachelorette is on tonight but i guess there was an episode i missed last night so i'm gonna put that on for a little bit and then i'm gonna watch the new one hi you guys i'm sitting on the floor again this is just my little spot to talk to you guys um so i watched the bachelorette that just ended like literally one minute ago so i'm sitting down and chatting with you guys while i was watching i put on a new set of static nails these are the olive green ones and i think the color is amazing i love them these are the ones i decided to do for christmas i think i'll change them out before new year's but i really like the color and how they turned out so I put those on um, and I wanted to, well, I wanted to do like a 45 second recap of my thoughts on tonight's episode because I know a lot of you guys watch. So just want to say if you haven't watched um, Monday and Tuesday night of this week's episode, you're going to want to skip forward probably a minute, a minute and a half of this video because I am going to be giving some spoilers about who was eliminated. Okay. We good? <laughs> okay. So... Ben was my favorite um, up until, honestly, he didn't prove himself this week. Last week, I decided he was my new favorite. That was just as of last week, and then this week was the hometowns, and I thought everyone had a great hometown. Like, I love all the final four. I really do. Honestly, I'm not obsessed with Zach, but I could see them together and see it working. I don't know why I don't like him as much as the other three, but he is in the final three, and you know what? I will still support, um, at least at this point. But Ben did not tell Tasha how he felt about her, didn't tell her that he was in love with her, he said he was in love with her, and then she eliminated him, and then he just couldn't speak, and he just didn't 
give anything. He was a blank wall. And then he went home and in the car he was like, I still love her. I wanted to marry her. And I don't know, I get it. I guess it's hard to talk about how you feel, especially when there's cameras filming you. Like maybe that was a big part of it, but I don't know. I just think that he definitely could have stuck around if he just expressed how he felt. And I think that's honestly the reason he went home. I thought he was a great guy, but if you can't express how you feel and you're this late in the game, I mean, Come on. So at this point, I am definitely excited about her top three. I, I think I could see her with anybody. I do feel like at this point, I think I'm rooting for Ivan. I just feel like they're so cute and he seems so sweet and genuine. I honestly love Brendan too. I would be really happy with Ivan or Brendan and I would be like, okay with Zach. I wouldn't be like upset. Um, we'll see what happens next week. I'm really excited for the two night finale next week maybe i'll make a fucking charcuterie board or some shit for next week's finale um anyway i wanted to do a little haul of some of the gifts that i picked up today as well as i got a couple things for myself so we're gonna do a little a little mini haul for the end of the vlog i do want to say if my friends devin or sarah are watching this vlog i don't know they mentioned they watched a couple of vlogmas if you guys are watching please turn off the vlog now because i'm going to be showing presents for you and I really want it to be a surprise so please don't watch this <laughs> um Devin and Sarah are my friends they're dating and they just moved into a new place together and they mentioned that they didn't have any um wine glasses for their new place so I got them a set of four red wine glasses from this is from the brand that I have my wine glasses it's called Riedel I have bigger ones than this I would have honestly gotten them the bigger ones if I could find them I went to home goods and this was like the biggest ones I found they're just like a normal wine glass size but it comes in a four pack and these are really nice glasses and you guys actually like helped me out um and said you could get them for a little bit cheaper than online at home goods whenever i mentioned that that was the brand i had so i went and i found some so if you guys are looking for something like that i always think that's a great gift if there's someone in your life that like doesn't have nice wine glasses that drinks wine that's just a like you can't go wrong i feel like with that even if you're upgrading like your mom or one of your parents to some really nice wine glasses i think that's a great like last minute gift too i'm so excited to give all my girlfriends their presents this year um another thing i got for sarah was this little it's like a um spices and olive oil little gift pack because she always loves Fun, using fun spices in cooking she mentioned to me she likes the home goods spices so this is a cool little kit that comes with a garlic and lemon olive oil and then it comes with three different um seasoning little jars which i thought was really cute so you can find cool stuff like this at home goods too for maybe a foodie in your life or something so i got that for her as well i'm really excited about this i honestly like i wish i got one of these for myself i love it so much this is for my best friend devin um it's a little like kind of a tiny crossbody or like over the shoulder bag and she wears bags like this a lot i hope she likes the tie-dye because i just saw it and i thought of her like i was going through the whole store oh by the way this is from urban outfitters that's where i ended up deciding to go because i was like i know i could find stuff for like both of them there and so i ended up going there i just think this bag is super freaking cute you can like adjust the straps so i hope that dev will like that because i don't know why it was so hard for me to like figure out her gift specifically this year for my other friends i thought of their gifts like weeks ago and i already have their gifts and then for some reason devon's was so hard for me to figure out and then in addition to that i also got her one other little thing i also just found this at urban but it is um the book homebody by rupee car rupee car is that am i saying that right i know she loves reading and poetry and hopefully she doesn't have this um yeah i hope she doesn't have this because that would suck but i got her this too and then for the other part of sarah's gift this is what i found at the first store that i went to whenever i went to mixed greens and i'm really glad i found this um this is like one of my favorite local candle companies it's called idaho candle company and they have so many amazing amazing scents and i just love that they are a local amazing brand and this one is actually in the scent stanley which is a really really special place to my friend group and sarah and her family so i knew that i wanted her gift to be centered around like stanley i wanted to get her something i was like looking at stuff on etsy couldn't really find like the perfect thing and then i found this today at the store and i was like i feel like that's perfect she's mentioned to me i know that she loves candles and i know that stanley has a special place in her heart i mean the packaging is so cute these are really like high quality candles i would 
honestly want this for myself but I hope she will love that so of course I went to Urban Outfitters and I looked around the entire store because I was looking for gifts and I actually was doing a pretty good job about not picking up anything for myself that I liked I was like looking at things and I would put it back I would put it back but I saw this one sweatshirt that absolutely got me and I absolutely had to get it I feel like when you guys will see it you'll be like yeah Lindsay that is that is a you piece okay this is it it is this like dip dyed sweatshirt a little like crew neck and half of it is this lighter color half of it is this brown and then it has these little mushrooms but they're like really tiny and it's nothing like super out there and crazy like i feel like at this point if i'm gonna wear like mushrooms or like something psychedelic on my clothes i want it to be very small and dainty i've changed how i feel about my style in regards to like psychedelic things appearing on my clothing but also another reason once i picked this up and felt it holy freaking shit can i just say something i was talking about this earlier to my boyfriend you know how like so many like of those um what is it called like a, a sherpa pullover or any of that stuff like that's really in style right now like the puffier stuff it will be super fucking soft on the outside and it's like oh my gosh this is so nice and then you put it on and the inside of the sleeves are like never soft and it's always like a towel material what is up with that can somebody like explain this to me because why would you not want the actual warmth to be touching your body i don't know guys i don't know i guess it's just all for looks but this sweatshirt, actually, the inside is so freaking soft and cozy. I really try not to do much fast fashion anymore. I've really eliminated a ton of it from my life this year. But I will say, sometimes I do find something that I'm like, I know I'm not going to find this elsewhere. And this was one of those things. It's from this brand called Neon Riot. So I feel like I want to check out more of this brand, like follow them on Instagram. I got a size large because I wanted it to be oversized. I honestly would have gotten an extra large, but this is the biggest one that they had at my store um i love a sweater that fits oversized i think almost every day of vlogmas i'm sure you guys have noticed i've worn like a tie-dye sweatshirt or just a sweatshirt in general i don't know guys it's just it's just the 2020 vibes um but i'm i'm absolutely in love with this it was a little bit pricey it was 69 dollars yeah, that's, a, that's more than I would pay for a normal sweatshirt, but it was one of those things that I saw it and I was like, there's no way I'm walking out of the store without that being mine. I also just grabbed these for myself because I had a pair that was just like this that I'm sure you guys recognize like every freaking influencer lifestyle youtuber has these earrings in either silver or gold myself included and i had the small silver pair and something happened to mine recently where one of them falls out every time i wear it and they won't stay in so i decided to replace them and then they came in three different sizes in this pack for um 20 bucks and i've been wanting the bigger ones anyway so i just figured I'll get the pack. I think that's everything I got today. I'm really excited about this stuff. I'm so excited to give my girlfriends and my family and my boyfriend and everybody, everybody their gifts. Um, and I'm gonna go do some dishes now and then I think I'm gonna start on some wrapping. I think it's gonna be a really fun part of Vlogmas like opening presents. So my sister actually just FaceTimed me. She opened her presents tonight. So you guys will see her, that vlog tomorrow or today. Um, if you want to see what I got Megan, go check out her Vlogmas day. I guess it would be day 15, right? Today is the 15th. I'm losing track of time. The days are going by so fucking fast. I swear it was like just December 1st. I, I swear. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I've definitely had a chill night. I love my Bachelorette Tuesdays. I love it. We also need to open the advent wine calendar and the chocolate advent calendar. Why do I keep saving it for the end of the videos? It took me so long to wrap tonight. I think mostly what took me the longest was finding boxes to fit like my specific presents for people um but i'm pretty happy with my wrapping the only thing i didn't have that i wish i had and i might just go get some is like more ribbon to tie around the brown paper just to make it more like lively i tried to get creative this year and do some greenery from here <laughs> these are gonna die pretty soon anyway so i was like might as well cut it off and like use it to make my presents prettier so i think they look so cute these are all pretty much for my friends and then i have this one for my dad this one for my dad this one for jared and the rest are 
for friends. I do still have a little more to wrap, like stuff for my mom and stuff for one of my other friends and a couple more things. But I wanted to get a head start tonight and I feel like everything looks so cute. I used these little gift tags that came with Aspen's mailer last week and it took me a while, but I'm really glad that I did this so I wasn't like stressed out about doing it before I go home and everything like that. I think I'm just gonna move the presents to under my tree because where else am I gonna put them until like I give them out to people? Wow, now she looks really full over there and I like how everything's brown and wrapped in the same type of a thing. I think it looks really good actually to use just like brown wrapping paper, like mailing paper for gifts. All right, who's ready to open the advent calendar? Let's start off with chocolate advent calendar since I, for, this has taken up a lot of the frame, all these advent calendars. I forgot to do it again yesterday, so I'm doing two today. We got the 14th, guys, I don't have the patience for it. Oh, actually, if you use both hands, you get some good leverage. That was kind of move. The 14th and the 15th. Love it. Really excited that I get to eat two of them today. I've been hit by a leaf. All right, what do we got in here? Day 14. Oh, Rosé! We haven't gotten Rosé the whole time. I'm starting to dance early. <laughs> Apparently, I am excited about that. And what did we get for day 15? Ooh, we have another different one. We have a Cab Sauv Syrah. I don't really actually know like what that is, but it sounds classy. Wow, the wine advent calendar is so much lighter in weight. I think we know what time of the night it is, everybody. Alexa, play Pour It Up by Rihanna. chilling and it's really good these wines have been so high quality like that's been the best part of the advent wine calendar yes i'm a little bit out of breath <laughs> i always get out of breath when doing the dance that's been the best part of the advent wine calendar is that the wines have been impressing me every single day even the reds and to end off this vlog we're going to finish off with our two minute topic of vlogmas today. Okay guys, to end off this vlog, tonight's two minute topic was suggested by Courtney. She actually commented several suggestions, so shout out to you Courtney. But the one I felt like kind of doing tonight was my top songs of 2020. So of course I had to consult with my Spotify wrapped so I'm not lying to you guys about the truth of what I've been listening to this year. So um, if anyone is interested, I know like everyone shares this, I will link my top songs of 2020 play list in the description box down below if anyone wants to check out like all of them so my top song of the entire year the one that i've streamed the most uh at least on spotify is bs featuring her by janae aiko i found that song i think in april or may and it was one of those songs that at the beginning i was like it's good like the first time i listened to it i was like it's okay and then I, every time you listen to it more it consistently got harder and better a really good car song anyway that song was probably my biggest bop of this year I decided I'm just gonna show you guys my phone because it'll probably be easier. Um, nobody will be surprised by the golden hour features on here. 
Um, definitely my most played album of this year probably was Golden Hour as well as in 2019. Space Cowboy and Slow Burn, nobody's surprised. Another one of my favorite songs this year was Toxic by Kehlani and that whole album in general. Oh, definitely Nights Like This. Nights Like This is probably, I feel like that, oh, okay, hi. I feel like Nights Like This by Kehlani and Ty Dolla Sign was for sure my most played song at night this year. Um, another one of my favorites, ta Dao by Masego. This is one of my favorite songs of all time, if you guys have never listened to this song. Um, my favorite Lumineers song, no surprise there, Stubborn Love, literally my favorite Lumineers song of all time. Some other stuff, um, I would definitely say I got a little bit into camp this year, so Peach Fuzz was my favorite camp song. Like, we have a lot of old stuff on here, literally everything from Golden Hour is on here. Um, Tomorrow by Shaky Graves, I like that, Janelle Monae. Um, really some throwbacks, like none of, a lot of these did not even come out in 2020 and I'd just be listening to old shit. Um, Jobs by City Girls, Jocelyn, Olivia O'Brien, y'all can see, but we'll pretty much end it there because I think it's been over two minutes. I hope you have been enjoying the two minute topics. I didn't get quite as many comments on my last video for future two minute topics. So this is my PSA to you guys. If you have one and I haven't done yours or if you've commented yours, feel free to comment yours again or suggest one if you have not already because I'm gonna pick one for the next vlog and I'll give you a shout out if I pick yours. So shout out to Courtney for this two minute topic queen. And I will see you guys in the next vlogmas in two days. All right, bye you guys.